just moored up around the corner there. It was a really, really nice mooring spot. Extremely quiet at night, very dark. I was able to get the car on the bridge virtually and we were really close to Daventry and Rugby here. It was a short journey down to Braunston, where the northern part of the Oxford Canal meets the Grand Union. We headed west along the Grand Union, just north of the village of Flecno. There were some very straight and long stretches here. At Napton Junction, the Grand Union continues to the northwest, but we were heading southwest and back on the Oxford Canal. Spanning around a steep hill, we stopped for water at the Napton Bottom Lock. In the last episode, I asked for your thoughts on these patterns in the fields along this canal. Well, I received so many comments from people all over the world. The overriding reason was ridge and furrow. The ridges are visible on the land that was ploughed in the Middle Ages, but which has not been ploughed since then. The ridges and furrows are simply a result of ploughing with non-reversing ploughs on the same strip of land each year. At Braunston I filled up with water and disposed of my rubbish. Oh, and I also got stuck in the Elsan hut after the wind blew the door shut. Thanks Tom for letting me out. At Napton Junction you can go one of four ways. To the right up the Grand Union, to the left into Wigram's Turn Marina, or straight ahead, as we were, onto the southern section of the Oxford Canal. Napton on the hill on the Oxford Canal. Um, I moored up here a couple of days ago and got some water and whilst I was here a viewer called Nigel Box from his narrow boat Gypsy Lou he popped over to say hello and he says you've got to try the buffalo burgers and sausages from in the village shop up in the village of Napton on the hill. After walking up the hill, we found the very well-stocked village shop and purchased some of the recommended buffalo burgers and sausages. These 
These are the Napton water buffalo that, during the summer months, graze along the canal's edge here. There are 300 in total and not only provide the meat for the steaks, burgers and sausages, but also milk as well as mozzarella for supermarkets like Waitrose. Spanning some 250 acres of Warwickshire farmland, they are milking 150 buffalo and they're quite happy to calf themselves. This one is less than 12 hours old and is easily standing. There are nurseries of buffalo of all ages here and the curious, wide-eyed animals are native across most of Asia. Along the Oxford Canal, however, they are an interesting sight. I've included a link to the farm and where you can buy the burgers in the description below. When I travelled through Beeston towards Nottingham last summer, I was asked to place this rock somewhere on my travels. The hobby of stone painting has become a bit of a craze with social media detailing how far and wide these coloured stones can travel. This one has been painted by Nancy from Spondon in Derby and just like in Beeston, it's now my job to hide it for someone else to find and take it on their travels. Look up Spondon Rocks on Facebook for more information. As I travelled up through Loch Nine, I was a bit annoyed with how the lock sides have been replaced. I'm not sure if this is a temporary install, but the replacement of the top coping stones with breeze blocks is not really in keeping with the other locks. Let me know if you think this is a good job or not. In the next episode, I learn a new trick when tapping holes in metal for bolts. I get to work installing rope fair leads on the bow and continue down the Oxford Canal. Until next time, see you later. <laughs>